Hey folks, Mansoor Suhail, your accountant from Toronto, Ontario. My specializations are taxes for Canada and USA. This information is for educational purposes only. It does not constitute any legal advice or opinion. Please do not use any of its contents without seeking a professional advice. Pre-incorporation. What do we need to consider for pre-incorporation? Jurisdiction. If national presence or business name recognition throughout the country is required, consider a federal corporation. Legal elements that identify a corporation are limited. LTD, limitee, LTEE, incorporated, INC, corporation, and CORP. Corporation name must be followed by one of these identifiers. NUANS, N -U -A -N -S, stands for New Updated Automated Name Search. NUANS search is a requirement of OBCA and CBCA. Industry Canada in Ottawa maintains a database for names. In Ontario, a NUANS report will cost approximately $25 and a federal nuance report will cost about $35. Articles of incorporation must accompany a nuance report to confirm that a name is not duplicated. Following are very two, um, two very important links about nuance. The first one is a tutorial and the second one helps you pre-screen your Ontario business name and order your official Ontario Nuance Reservation Report to incorporate your business. Numbered companies. A numbered company may be used for many reasons. If someone wants a name that is identical to already registered business, a clear Nuance Report is not possible. One can use a numbered company. If someone cannot wait for nuance report, following is an example of a numbered company name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ontario Inc. Clients can trademark their business name with or without a logo. If a corporation in Ontario for its branch or division or its branch or division wants to carry a business under a name other than the registered corporation name, it must register this business name under the Business Names Act using Form 2. And here is the link for Form 2. Directors. Every corporation must have one or more directors to manage its affairs. Directors must be individuals, 18 or older, who are not undischarged bankrupts or held by court to be of unsound mind. Majority of the directors of every co Ontario corporation that is not a non-resident corporation must be resident Canadians. The term ordinary resident comes from the Income Tax Act and refers to individuals who treat Canada as their home and reside there for at least half of each year. A landed immigrant who is ordinarily resident in Canada may be a director. Such a person cannot be a director if he or she has been ordinarily resident for more than one year from the time he or she first became eligible to apply for Canadian citizenship. First Directors First Directors of a corporation are named in the Articles of Incorporation. They hold office from the moment of incorporation until at least the first meeting of shareholders. The powers and responsibilities of the first directors are the same as those of any other directors. First directors cannot resign their position until their resignation is approved by the shareholders and replacement directors have been elected. The articles of incorporation for federal corporations do not name the directors but a Notice of Directors Form 6 must be filed with the Articles. 
for Ontario corporations form must form one must be filled filed with ministry within 60 days of incorporation Fallen is the link to form one shelf corporations law firms often have shelf corporations on hand for clients who need a corporation immediately and cannot afford to wait for a new corporation to be incorporated this type of corporation stays dormant till transferred non-offering corporations these type of corporations are also known as private are closely held corporations and they do not sell their share on the stock market and they provide an important tax advantage Canadian controlled private corporations abbreviated as CCPC are entitled to claim a small business deduction on active business income earned in Canada the current federal limit is $500,000 and federal tax rate is 11 percent active business income does not include investment in stocks bonds or rental income a CCPC must be controlled by resident Canadians which means at least 51 percent of the voting shares are owned by resident Canadians registered office a corporation must keep its books and records at the registered office a registered office cannot be a post office address reference the fundamentals of corporate law and procedure I have used this book for making this presentation written by Mark Walma Patricia McCain Smith publishers are Edmund Montgomery publications limited Toronto Canada Thank you for listening.